Hello and welcome friends back to House of Props. I'm Buddy and today I'm going to show you how I made this Batman inspired cow as seen in the new movie. Let's get started. I'm going to start by building the face first and then build the rest of the cowl around it. I'll begin by closing up these darts with contact cement. While I do this, go ahead and click the subscribe button and notification bell so you will be notified about future builds. And if you are able to, scan this code to check out all previous projects. Once the darts are closed, I attach part A to part B with contact cement. To speed up the drying process, I use my heat gun to partially dry the cement so the pieces can be attached faster. Once this process is complete, I repeat it to the mirrored pieces and then attach the A and B pieces together. Next I took both part C's and heated up the nostril so I could warp the piece to make it look more like a nose. Then I bevel the underside of part D with scissors. This will help create the nose contours. Next, each part C can be glued to either side of part D. I check my fit before attaching the nose to the face. Before continuing with the build, I heat up the brow areas and using my fingers I press and warp the foam to create more of a brow ridge. Part E is then glued onto the top edge of part A. The second part E is attached and then both part E's are attached to each other. I only apply contact cement to the L shape of part F and the rear edge of part E.
I began by aligning the center seam and pressing along the edge of part F up to this point. After the second part F has been attached, the seam between the two F pieces is glued. Part G is attached to the bottom edge of part F. Part H is attached here just behind the face. In order to make it a little easier, I only attach one side at a time. This way I don't have to worry about spots sticking when I don't want them to. Once part H is in place, I close up the seam on each side. Part I will finish off the ear areas. I attach part I one edge at a time, beginning with one of the vertical edges. Then the bottom edge. and finish with the last vertical edge. Part J is attached to the rear of the cow in alignment with the center seam. Then each part K is attached to the forward facing edges of parts J. To attach the detail pieces parts M through P onto part L, I'm using CA glue. To begin, I attach part M to part N so the flaps on part N are under the edges of part M. I know, that can get a little confusing. This is then glued onto part L.
Then part O is attached so the top slightly overlaps the bottom of part N. And then the process is repeated with part P. This piece can then be glued onto the underside of one of the part K's with contact cement. In order to make the cowl wearable, I'm using Velcro on the other edge of part L and part K. The Velcro I'm using doesn't need to be attached by sewing, just peel away the protective layer and place where you want it to stick. To smooth all the seams, I'm using my rotary tool with a fine sanding drum and lightly sand down the surface. Then I use my heat gun to seal all the EVA foam. You can see as the foam begins to seal how it gets shiny. This helps you see where you've sealed and which areas still need hit. When I'm finished with the heat gun, I spread quick seal along the seams to help fill in the surface. Using the quick seal with a little water will help smooth the edges. I did need to apply three layers of this in order to get a smooth surface. Then I applied multiple layers of Plasti Dip. Make sure you don't overspray because if you go too thick with the layers it may run. It's better to build up thin even layers. To create the stitching effect I'm using a push pin and literally pushing into the foam to create a small hole. It will take a minute, just plot where you want your stitching and dive right in. You can also use a hobby knife to get the same effect. Once the stitching was complete, I sprayed on another layer of Plasti Dip. The last step was to give the cowl some aging. To do this, I dry brushed a light gray along the edges. And there you can see the steps I used to make this Batman cowl inspired by the new movie. I don't want to give anything away, but I was really impressed by the movie, so go check it out. And let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, if you are building any of my builds or using any of my templates, feel free and tag me at House of Props on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, because I would really like to see your fantastic work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.